Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Aditya Harange and in this video we're going to learn about how we can pass a list to a function. So before that let's learn about few concepts which are call by value and call by reference. So these concepts are present in other languages which are C and C++ and they, these are relevant when comes to passing data as a list to a function. Okay. So call by value and call by reference. So in call by value, we are passing the value itself and in call by reference. We are passing the address. So how one differs from the other. So in call by value, we are passing value. So the value in the main body. So the global function, global variable, the value of it is sent as an argument to the function and in the variable inside the function. So the main body and function. So the value of this global variable is given to the value of local variable. Okay. So now both have the same values and both are independent of each other. See, this thing is important in call by value. So the value which is sent and the value which is received both are same. Both are in different variables, global and local, and both are independent of each other. So changes made in the function. So the local variable will not reflect in the global variable. Okay. So if I print the value of global variable, then send the data uh, in the function, I'm making changes. And again, after the fun function is executed, if I'm printing the uh, local global variable, so the value will not be affected. So whatever the changes made by the local variable will not reflect in the global variable. So the global variable have its own value, which was sent earlier. Okay. So call by value means both are independent and changes made in one another does not reflect in the other one. Okay. So that was call by value. Now what is call by reference? So in call by reference, instead of passing value, we are passing the address. So I said a variable is anything which stores the value. So the value is actually stored in the memory. So this is memory and this is variable. So value is stored. Let's say this one, two, three in memory. We have three blocks in the first block. I have stored some value. Let's say I have here X equal to 99. Okay. So the 99 is stored here. This is memory. My three blocks. So size of memory memory is three in the first block. 99 is stored. Okay. Now X here, this, this thing is X. It is pointing to this 99. So in the memory, I have address assigned to each block. So the address of uh, the block of 99 is sent instead of the value 99. Okay. So in call by reference, I'm passing the address of the value address of value. I'm passing. So the address is received there in the function and whatever the changes I'm making, it is made on the memory block to which X is pointing. So X is global. It is pointing here, but I sent the uh, address. Okay. So I send the address of the block instead of uh, value. So the address is there in the local uh, variable in the function. So whatever the changes made by the local variables, are made on this memory block and the global variable X is pointing to this memory block. Okay. So this, whatever stored inside this memory block has been changed by the local variable. Now, once I come out of the function, so the global variable X is still pointing here only. So whatever the changes made by the local variable are reflected in this memory block and X is pointing here. Now, if I print X or if I see the value of X, now, whatever the changes made, so whatever the changes made will reflect. So in call by reference, I'm passing the address instead of giving the value itself. So in call by value, I pass the value. So a duplicate value is created in another memory block. So in call by uh, call by value, I'm passing the value. So local variable gets the value and then in the next free block, it is assigned the same value. So X equal to 99 here X equal to uh, so in the function, let's say I'm receiving it in B. So B is also equal to 99. So X global variable 99 B 
local variable 99 so whatever the changes i make in the local uh, in the function by the local variable are made here in the second memory block not in the main memory block so the first memory block where the x was pointing so by call by value i'm passing the value and that value is given another space in the memory block so global variable is pointing here local variable is pointing here in the second block so once the function is run all the changes made were here now the function when gets over this memory block is also freed but the original memory block is untouched so x was pointing here it is untouched and the value remains same so in call by value duplicate or uh, same value is given and duplicate memory address or uh, do, uh, extra space is created for the same value they are not in the they are not working in the same memory block so whatever changes are made are made on the another memory block where the local variable got the memory okay so both are different now in call by reference the address of memory block is passed and all the changes are made on this memory block itself so once the function is over this memory block is also occupied by the global variable so it does not get uh, so what was i saying call by reference same memory block is occupied by global as well as local variable changes made by the local variable are made in the same memory block okay and once the function gets over this block is occupied by the global variable so it does not get removed so it stays in the memory and all the changes made by the local variable are made here also so so after you print the value of global variable the, all the changes will be reflected in this value if call by reference was used so for passing single values okay so call by value is used instead of reference so we see both local and global as different but in case of arrays or list or a data structure which has multiple elements stored at it in stored in it so there the default method is call by reference so for list call by reference is used instead of call by value so the address of list is passed whatever changes are made are made in the original list too and after the function gets executed we can see the changes okay so let's see i have a fun function here i have a function fn which is receiving a and how in the main let's see in the main body i have a list b so b equal to 1 comma 2 and i am printing b before calling the function then i am calling the function then again i am printing so to see the value of b before and after i am i have called the function so if i print it so i will see 1 2 first then i call the function in the function i am receiving it in a so let's say this is your list list 1 2 the values are stored here now this thing is b the global variable it is pointing here now i said when we are passing list call by reference is used so the address of starting element is passed okay only this starting element is passed to the function now a this one b a a is also pointing here b is also pointing here so both are pointing here now inside the function i am using this command a dot append 3 so append means adding at the end so i am adding element 3 at the end of the list so now my list will have 1 2 and 3 okay now again after the function is done i am printing the value of b again so both were pointing here changes were made in the same memory so b will also reflect the changes okay it is the global variable and a is the local variable now, so if i run it so initially 1 comma 2 b was 1 comma 2 i printed it called the function then inside the function i added 3 at the end now both were working on the same memory so changes made by a were reflected in b also now if i print b 
if i print b i get the updated list so i hope you got it that's how it works so we can see it side by side both let's say a comma c now here i let me make this also a okay c equal to 10 now there is a proper reason why call by reference is used instead of call by value for list so i will explain it later okay let me print both a comma c let me pass a comma c again print a comma c so inside i am updating the list let me update the value also 99 okay now if i try to run it let's see what happens see for a single element or single variable which is c call by value was used because it is easy to allocate one storage block okay so for single element or variable call by value is used for a data structure which holds multiple value call by reference is used so let's assume one use case where i have a list which has 1 million elements list which has 1 million elements so if i want to pass it as a uh, argument to a function so if call by value was used all those million blocks would have been replicated a duplicate will have another memory so twice the memory would have used so if 1 million blocks are using 1 gb of data in the memory ram 1 gb of ram so creating a function will require you to have 2 gb of ram in use so all the 1 million elements will be created as a duplicate entry in memory so to avoid that we use a uh, call by reference for list but if we pass a uh, uh, elements or variables which have which hold single value at a time so for those call by reference or oh sorry call by value is used so creating one more uh, so to assign a variable uh, memory storage okay so it, it's not a big deal because this c is a single will require one byte or two three bytes at max okay <clears throat> so that's why we use call by value for single variables and call by reference for a list because we cannot allocate uh, twice the storage so here a is occupying let's say if it had 1000 elements uh, 100 mb okay for 1000 elements it is occupying 100 mb so if i pass it in a function and it was using call by value i will have to allocate 100 more bytes and if i call it twice 200 bytes 200 megabytes if i call it this function three times so for each time you call a function you need to allocate memory in the you need to allocate it some memory how 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 much it will require whatever it requires okay so call by value was used so same 100 mb would have been replicated the number of times how, how much i call it so if i call it 10 times so 1000 gb that's why call by reference is used for passing list and call by value is used for passing a single element okay so here a is this c is 10 so i am printing a c which is 1 2 and 10 and passing a comma c inside the function adding 3 and updating the value of c so call by reference was used for list so on the same address changes were made so we saw the changes in the global variable also global list also okay but for single element call by value was used so value was given and duplicate memory was allocated and in that changes were made so global global memory was not untouched duplicate memory was uh, affected so when the function got over this memory also got emptied 
so we have this only global one so where we see uh, the original value which is 10 so i hope you got it how value is passed call by value call by reference and how value in list is passed updation made in list will remain okay so go through it one more time if you have any doubts share it in the comments down below and thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one